hello and welcome I'm Nefe42 and this is the uh, SketchUp Make tutorial okay for this one we're gonna be finishing uh, some kind of work with these castle wall things uh, so what we want to do is we get select tool triple click it uh, and what we could do is we just move it uh, oh, and it moves all of them actually so I forgot about that uh, oh no oh no, no no okay so we just select one of them and we'll move that so I want to move that over here. We'll say move it over here. Oh, yeah. So let's move that over here. Sorry. Um, we'll select this one, uh, and we'll move this one over here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Then we'll select this one, and we'll move this one down here, like that. So now it's kind of like three walls, all kind of. There we go. Can we give it a bit more space for that. Uh, and that looks good. That looks good. We'll have three of these spaced out like that. Let's make it so it's a bit easier to find the lines for these, uh, for the walls. So what we'll do is we'll just get the tape measure tool, we'll go from the midpoint in, and we'll do that by five mil. So we'll do five mil there, and five mil there. Notice that because I did it on this one, and not the original, or not in um, edit uh, component mode, it didn't change it for all of them. Whereas it would have done if it did, if I was in that. So if I drop, triple click that, and do it onto this face, like that, do five. See, the line is there now already. And the line is also here, like that. So that is good. I do need to do it on this face as well. So I just select this object, uh, and then we'll do the same on this face here. So we'll do five. Oh, that's kind of good. And five. Get good. Okay, so that's fine. That's good. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get this uh, two point curve. Go there. And then um, we'll go like that. It's kind of like a, a good curve for it, I suppose. Um, we'll do two. No, it's not curvy enough. Three, four. Seven. Seven's nice. Seven is nice. Uh, now what we're going to do for this, uh, for the next one, we'll do the same. I didn't even click on the thing. I didn't even click on it. <laughs> didn't click on the in this section. So do that from there to there. And do like a seven on that as well. No, we won't because that's not curvy enough. Uh, okay. So, oh yeah, of course. Nine. We do a nine. That kind of that that does work. Actually, that's pretty nice. Um, so we're, what we're going to do now is we're just going to connect these up. So we'll connect that about that. really don't like that it's really annoying uh, and then we connect this up this side as well there we go uh, and don't do that in component mode I didn't I forgot to mention that don't do that in component mode because then um, you'll have the exact same on all of them and it'll look a bit funny so yeah we want to do the same over here so it's a seven and a nine I think wasn't it to so do seven yeah it's good um, okay we'll do it here to here and go here and go nine and that's that's actually where it was so that's good um, okay so we want to just connect these up here go to the select tool pencil tool we'll connect these up there okay perfect so we'll raise that up by we'll raise it up by 15 then we'll raise this one up by 15 as well 15 there we go that mean that the full size of this wall would be around about half the size of the turret which is fine so let's just try this again we'll triple click that we'll raise that up no gap perfect all right so we'll triple click that we'll move that one up as well to there and now we've got that so that's pretty good uh, now what we have is the wall as an object uh, what I need to do is I need to move this back a little bit so we'll just grab that uh, we'll just use this thing here and we'll do that and that was two mil and then we'll do this one here as well Do this one inwards. And do that by two mil. Um, that one, obviously, you got the extra little bits at the end, the intersection bits. So we'll just remove them. And that's fine. That doesn't matter too much because they're already connected up now, so that's good. Uh, so what we just need to do for these is, oh, get them in place. Just click here and then click here. 
God, I need to stop pressing just the middle button to do this. And I'm just over here as well for here to here. Uh, and now we can just kind of like click in the middle bit and drag that down. So that's good. And we'll drag that down by five. There we go. And what we're going to do over here is just grab this one. We'll do the same again. Actually, we'll just do the same again. We have like a wall segment done. Looks cool, doesn't it? There's little gaps there. But it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, you can you can always perfect that up and stuff. Now we have half of this thing done. Select these three, um, and then we can right click that, make component, and call it half wall. Uh, so now what we can do is we have half of a wall here. Why bother making the other half? Because we already have the other half, and it's still here. It's the same thing, isn't it? So what we could do is just drag that out, uh, get the old rotate tool on top of it, on top of the middle here, and we'll just grab here, and then we'll go here like that, and then we'll just do 180, and that'll make it actually flip 180. Um, <laughs> it kind of almost works there as well, actually, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so if you really wanted to, you could just put them in each other, and then you have a big circle one here, all very similar. So what you could do now is you just grab here, and then if you wanted to make a gatehouse, you could put the gatehouse here between the two walls and then another wall at the back or something like that, just a straight one, just to, you know, bridge the gap and stuff, stop intruders coming into your your really cool um, little castle that we made now. And you can see here the whole thing is actually from end to end, 20 centimeters big. So it's quite a small castle, but you know, it's something that you've made yourself and you've modified yourself and you've made it look cool. Uh, and you could 3D print it. Um, not with the uh, not with my 3D printer uh, because it doesn't do up to 20 centimeters. But we could do it in two halves, and then maybe if you put some slots in it or something like that, you can actually make it so you can slide the gateway in and things like that. Or you can make it a a, a castle or something like that, which all slots into each other, so you can make it so that it all kind of would line up at the end. Anyway, that's been this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Nafo42. And thanks for watching.